the same Jesus. I don't know what made us think that because we got a little more sophistication and churches have gotten a little more religious and people have kind of felt like he wasn't the same today as he was yesterday. He's the same Jesus. He's the same Jesus that raised the dead. He's the same Jesus that healed the sick. He's the same Jesus. The exact same Jesus that loved the poor, the needy. He's that Jesus. He's that Jesus that reaches out to those who are the least of these of your brothers. He's not the Jesus with a crown right now. He's not the Jesus that's walking around and, and looking all snobby and coming to church all dressed up. Now, he's the Jesus that's looking for the poor, yeah. the needy, the hungry, the imprisoned. He's that Jesus. He's the same Jesus today that he was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And it's too bad we've, we've, we've made him look like a pope or we, we've made him look like he's, he's just some potentate sitting on top of the hill somewhere. Now, if he was here today, he'll be walking among you. Yeah. He'll be walking on Bourbon Street. Yeah. He'll be walking in prisons. Yeah. He'll be lifting up the poor. Yeah. He will be in the hospitals yeah. Uh, yeah. making the sick well. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to remember that Jesus. Yes. Today, I want you to know he's the same Jesus. Yes. When he rose from the dead, He's the same Jesus that died on the cross. That was no substitute body. No, it's the same Jesus. You don't have to turn to all the scriptures I might say right now. Just stay at Acts chapter 1. But I want you to know as we start a new leg of, of, of ministry in our church, I feel it coming. And I want you to know he's the Jesus that rose from the dead and his disciples even they did not believe he was the same. Surely a person can't rise from the, from the dead and be the same. Thomas was so skeptical of that. He said, just let me touch. Just let me touch. Today we have young people who just want to know if he's the same Jesus. Let me touch him. It's not good enough to just hear a preacher preach. We need to have a touch. Yes, yes. Some of the young people are just like Thomas. I just want to touch. Yeah, he's the same. He's the one that Thomas touched. He's the one that you can reach and touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the same Jesus that when he rose from the dead, listen, listen, because I'm talking about the Jesus that rose. Yeah. He's the same Jesus when he rose from the dead. He, he was like, what people just that could not believe, somebody that's walking around him, rose, risen from the dead. His disciples were out in a boat one day, fishing. He came to the bank of the boat of the, of the lake of, of where they were fishing. And, and there he told them how to cast their nets, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Just like he had done before he died. He did it afterwards. He's the same Jesus. And he told his apostles to come and eat with him. A ghost doesn't eat. He's the same Jesus, oh, yeah. that ate with them every day, that had the last supper with them. He's that Jesus. He ate fish with them. He created a fire to cook it even. He's the same Jesus. Yes, he had risen, but he was the same Jesus that died on the cross. Yeah. Listen, the Jesus that was crucified, he is the same Jesus that rose from the dead. He still had the marks in his hands and feet. He's the same Jesus that can heal the sick. This, in Acts chapter 1, go down to verse 10. So you don't expect a new Jesus to come. I want you to see what the scripture says. The one that's coming is the same one that left. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't, don't look for another. He's the same one. Somebody say he's the same Jesus. He's the same Jesus. Listen, in verse 10 of Acts chapter 1, it says, They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, and when suddenly he was going into the sky, and suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside him. You know those two men, the ones that were at the grave. They were angels, weren't they? 
Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They look, men of Galilee, they said, the angels are speaking. Why do you stand here looking into the sky? Read it with me. Yes. This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Somebody need to say amen. Amen. Not a new Jesus is coming. Same. Hallelujah. Same. It's the same Jesus, say brother. Right. Same. It's the same Jesus. Yeah. So all these years you've been waiting, he ain't changed a bit. He's the same. Yeah. All these years people have been looking for his coming. And they're wondering how he's coming back. He's coming the same way he went. Yeah. He's coming back. From heaven, the same. Hallelujah. Yeah. That elevator goes up, and that elevator coming back down. Yeah. Yeah. With Jesus looking the same. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who you're looking for, but my Bible described him well. He walked among the people. He devils couldn't stand being around him. They ran. They shrieked. They tore people. They were getting out of dodge. He could walk on the water. He could feed thousands at one time from just a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, that's that kingdom principle, right? Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. You go a long way. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody need to understand how the kingdom works. We talked about it for four Sundays. Just a little bit. Yes. Can make it big. Can go all through things. Jesus understood the principle because he is the king of the kingdom. And that same Jesus that multiplied that bread and that fish can multiply your little that you have. You don't have to give it to no preacher or no man to multiply. Give it to Jesus. Let him multiply. Hallelujah. Just listen, people. We gotta, we gotta stop making Jesus up. He ain't. He's sent. Somebody say, like Hebrew says in chapter 13, he's the same yesterday. Today and forever. That's about Jesus. Don't think you're going to get a new Jesus that graduated from LSU. Um, some school. No. Jesus ain't going to come here with a hat that tall on his head. Now, Jesus not going to come here where you may not even know who he is unless you have a heart for him. Because he's the same Jesus. Yeah. The same Jesus that raised Lazarus from the dead. He's the same Jesus that said they know not what they do. Forgive them, Father. Yeah. Yeah. He's the same Jesus that is full of grace and truth. He's that Jesus. Yeah. Today, forget not who he is. Don't worry about who you're looking for. If he ain't the same, he ain't Jesus. Hallelujah. Today I want you to go with me now to <coughs> chapter 3 of Acts. I want you to know the same thing you have to have is the same thing the apostles had to have to move into the power of God. And that is faith in that name, Jesus. First of all, a name means you know who that is. Now you know he's the same one that the Bible teaches. He's no different. So in that name, you have faith in that name. It's time for some miracles, people. They're not going to come because you just magically want them to come. Sometimes they're not going to come just because you pray all the time. But most of the time with prayer, they are coming. But I can give you good news if you had a little bit of faith in Jesus. Just a little bit in his name. That same Jesus that did it for his apostles can do it for you. Hallelujah. You remember the story of that lame, that beggar that was by the temple? That man was there all the time. Most people think he was there since he was lame, perhaps from birth. 
How many times did people pass him? And the, and the priests and the Levites and the people with the robes and the people with the Cadillacs and, and, uh, <laughs> and all the people with all the money pass by him and throw him a buck or two. Like money is the answer to everything. Let's just shove him some money. And he out here begging for it, giving it to him. Well, the apostles say, we ain't got no money. Silver and gold, we can't give it. But what we do have. Yes. Is something more valuable to you than money? Your good health? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your friend's good health? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your children's good health? Yes. Glory to God. Money can't buy that. No. I was sick the other day and uh, have no idea what I had. I, I went and my doctor wouldn't even see me. Like, what is wrong with you people? I've been coming here for 15 years, and now you can't see me when I need you? Mm -hmm. Sometimes God puts you in a situation where the only one you're going to need is him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in that situation. So I went to this urgent care, and they tried to treat me. Of course, you know, as we know, we have a, a daughter who's a doctor who really helped me out a lot. But they tested me, and they couldn't find out exactly what the heck is going on. You don't have COVID. You don't have the flu. You don't have a cold. But you got something. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't tell me I didn't have anything, because I was feeling it all over. <laughs> so whatever I had, I was content with God. And I struggled. I didn't want it sometimes. I have a mentor who told me, never tell the church your weaknesses. My wife knows I struggle with the enemy in sickness because his sickness was so strong and came on so hard. I struggled. But you know what? When you pray all the time, yes, Lord. when you go through your battle, God will fight it for you. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. I don't care how weak I was, how tired I was, he was I knew he was fighting my battle. Mm -hmm. I've heard the choir sing now somewhat. He was fighting my battle. One night, I was talking such nonsense. My wife was like, What's, what, what the heck wrong with you? <laughs> what are you talking about? I said, it went this way, and it came that way, and my mind went that way. She's like, what? <laughs> I didn't realize that later. The enemy was moving so strong. Mm -hmm. See, whenever you need God, sometimes it's not good to just ask him at the last minute. You ain't been asking all along. That's right. Sometimes it's not good that you ain't been praying for somebody else all along. And then you're going to ask God for you. Sometimes it's not good when you can serve and not serve. But those of us, and you, most of you here, you know that you're consistently walking with God. Yes. So when the enemy comes in so strong, God can raise up a standard. Yes. I had peace like a river, but I was not fighting this battle. God was. And sometimes you think something is not that big a deal just to find out later on. You should have been fighting from the beginning. Yes. Say love that disguise sickness and make you think, oh, this is nothing. I've learned that lesson a long time ago, as you heard one of my cousins say I had asthma as a child. When she lied, that was not a true story she told. My mom had never dressed me up and tortured me and set me in the door. My brother was so mad about that. My brother said, that girl lied. <laughs> But she's gone through so much. She lost her daughter to COVID. That was her best friend and her only daughter. And uh, so she breaks down every time she comes anywhere near me, for sure, and the church. But she told that story. I wasn't asthmatic. But, you know, through that sickness, not only did I learn that people suffer, and I need to identify with them like, like I suffered, like I feel. It taught me empathy. It taught me to feel 
other people's pain mm -hmm. yes. and not to take nothing for granted. That's right. Hallelujah. Like yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you go through things and you wonder why. Just so you can help somebody yeah. else. Yeah. And if my mama heard that story, she would be very angry. You think I dress my son up and stick him in the door? By the way, the screen door is open from the inside. So if I want to break out, I just open the door. <laughs> but anyway, to make a long story short, they have more stories about me than stories that I actually lived, okay? So I understand why that happens. But today, even my brother with the story, he loves it everybody to know how bad he was. And he heated up a knife and put it on my arm. He wanted that story told like he's proud of it. <laughs> but I want you to know, the anger that came on me, if I would have caught him, I would have beat him so bad. <laughs> oh, God knows. So, you know, we grow up, we see things, we learn things, we get hurt, we, we make we make mistakes, we do things we should not do, but all of that, like the song was saying, is grace yes. for you yes. when you accept yes. Jesus. Yes. When you accept Jesus, that faith in him redeems your soul. Yes. I want you to know that same Jesus that saved you though and delivered you all these years can heal you right now. Yeah. He has not changed, people. He sees what you're going through yeah. right now, today. Yeah. And you know, you may think he might be slow, but he is not. He's always on time. Oh, yes, he is. He's the same Jesus. The Bible says he healed all who were sick. Yeah. Are you sick today? It's time for a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to say that Jesus I have faith in can heal me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to read with me in Acts chapter 3 for a minute. Ah, help me, Father. I'm going to just start from verse 11. And I don't, can't find these glasses, so you just have to put up with me. While the man held on to Peter and John, all the people were astonished. Y'all see that? And came running to them in the, in the place called Solomon's Colonnade. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we made this man walk? Peter saying, why are you staring at us? It's not by our power and we, not our godliness that this man can now walk. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant, who? Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before God, though he had decided to let him go. You see, it's the same Jesus they rejected. The same Jesus who died for their sins. They rejected him. Then they changed who he is. Have you ever been rejected? No, he's still the same Jesus. Yeah. And he says, you disown the holy and righteous one and ask that a murderer, Barabbas, be released to you. You killed, oh my God, can you imagine somebody telling you this? I know them people want to stump Peter like, like water. You killed the author of life. Yeah. But read it with me. But God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. And read it with me. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely, say completely, completely. healed him as you all see. Listen. Can you imagine that? Jesus is already going back to heaven. But faith in his name, yeah. which is the same today. Mm -hmm. 
faith in him has healed this man. Not Peter, not John, not their godliness, not their righteousness, not their money, but faith yes. in the name of Jesus. The old people used to ask, the old preachers used to ask, do you know him? Because it's faith in that name. You can't say you know me and don't even know my name. I tell people every day, they see me and they say, I know you. I say, what's my name? <laughs> you don't know my name. But I, I came to that church. But I say, you came to the church, but you don't know me. <laughs> do you know him? And do you have faith in him? Do you know he's the same Jesus that healed the sick, raised the dead, multiplied the bread and the fish, Walk on water. Do you know he's the same Jesus? Yes. Yes. Do you have faith in that name? Yes. Do you know him? Yes. Even the ones who rejected him and killed him, he remained the same. He's still healing. And he's going back to heaven. Somebody say, I have faith in that name. Although he's going back to heaven, he's the same. He can heal me. Hallelujah. Y'all got to y'all got to get it. Y'all got to know. You don't need to study every word of the Bible to know him. You just need to believe in that name. So much so, nobody can persuade you otherwise. I know what I know. I have faith in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Listen. Yeah. Now, fellow Israelites, he says, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders, but this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. He said, Repent. I mean, y'all see it? Yeah. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped, say, wiped right. out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord and that he may send the Messiah say Messiah, Messiah. who has been appointed for you even Jesus. Who is the Messiah? Jesus. Jesus. There ain't no other one. He's the Messiah. Anybody looking for another one? They're not going to find him. He's that Jesus. The same one. He's the Messiah. Heaven must receive him, read it with me, until the time comes for God to restore everything. As he promised long ago through his prophets. For Moses said, the Lord, your God, will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, your own people. You must listen, say listen, to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from their people. Today, I want to give you good news. The question you should ask is, do you really know him? You shouldn't ask the question, does Jesus really love me? Because the Bible says he is love. You should not ask the question, does he really know me? Because he knows everything. You should not ask the question, has he forgiven me? Because he's bringing you times of refreshing. He's already forgiven you. If you just repent. Somebody say repent. repent. And come to him. He's the same Jesus that acts. He's the same Jesus that is now. Don't you change him. Don't you be fearful of him. Because he loves you just the way you are. He's not looking for you to change. He's looking for you to come and repent. And he will do the changing. Yeah. He's Saint Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That healed that beggar by faith. That wasn't Peter. That wasn't John. That wasn't money. That wasn't a doctor. That was that Jesus who had been healing when he was walking here. He's the same Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the same Jesus. If we can just drum that into our heads, 
all the scriptures you read about all the great things he did. John even said in John 21, there's not enough books to write all the miracles he had done. What right. yeah. makes you think you can't do one for you? Yeah. Right. What makes you think he doesn't love you when he's walking love? have faith in him. Hallelujah. Not your power. Not the preacher's power. Not the people that lay hands on people and they fly in the air. Power. No. In Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. There's something about that name. It remains the same. It's the same. Yesterday, yes, yes. today, and forever. He was a healer yesterday, he's a healer today. He was a deliverer yesterday, he's a deliverer today. He was my God yesterday, he's my God today. I'm walked by faith, not by sight. Don't show me all the junk. I know to whom I believe. I just ask you today to have faith. Just like a grain of mustard seed. And just a little enough faith to move the mountains out your life. Somebody say, I just need to pray more. I need to talk to Jesus. I need to walk with Jesus. I need to get to know him more. Because to know him, I will learn that he's my healer. I will learn that he's my deliverer. I will learn he came to give me peace. I learned he didn't come to condemn me. He came to save me. I will learn he's a good God. And I will receive him. And I will walk out in this world boldly knowing that God is for me. Almighty God bless you, people as they be. And prepare, I'm sorry, prepare their hearts for community. That they know the Jesus that's sharing, that they're sharing the bread with today. It's the same Jesus they will share bread with in heaven. It's the same. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, he said, I won't do it again with you until I do it in my Father's kingdom. It's the same Jesus that will be here with you today. will be in heaven waiting to do the same thing again with you. In Jesus' name, bread. Yeah.